Hello everybody! This comparison is focused on car footage. For a detailed comparison with all the specs and winter usage, you can check my previous video. Today I spent a little bit time with both gimbals at the BMW dealership. Because of the crowd I was not able to make a better video, sorry for that. When you compare the two parts of the video, there is not a big difference. I also had this feeling in this car footage use case. There is really not a big difference between the gimbals. But in my other comparison video, in other use cases, the result was pretty different. The main difference between the gimbals was the footage with vertigo effect. If you don't know what it is, let me show you. You go away from the object and zoom in at the same time, or you go closer to the object and zoom out to get this effect. With the OM6, Vertigo effect was not very easy to realize. The success depends on your fingers. With Insta360, it was much easier because you don't have a real wheel for zooming. It's a kind of button and zooming in or out is much smoother. Anyways, I am still not a big fan of the button layout of Insta360. It's a little bit too small for my taste. If the battery life and vertigo effect are important for you and the button layout does not disturb you, pick the Insta360. If the form factor is more important for you and you can live with the battery life, pick the OM6. In my next video, I will test the DJI Action 3 and check if the focus issue is solved and another car footage with DJI RS3 gimbal and Sony A7 IV. Thanks for watching and see you next time.